You use these two components every day and they're extremely easy to understand. The principle of basic buttons and switches is simply to complete an electrical circuit by manipulating a mechanical object. But when you're using them in projects, you have several things to keep in mind. Buttons come in all shapes and sizes, but you can typically think of all buttons as having two leads with a midsection that can be connected or disconnected depending on whether or not you press it. You'll often see buttons with the classification normal on or normal off. Buttons that are normal off have a stationary state of being disconnected, meaning that unless you press it, the circuit will be broken at the button. Normal on will of course be the opposite with the circuit broken only when you do press the button. You'll also see buttons designated as momentary or sometimes locking or on off. Momentary buttons will only stay depressed while you apply pressure, while locking or on off buttons require two pushes to change between connected and disconnected states. Moving on to switches, there are four key acronyms to take into account. SPST, SPDT, DPDT, and DPST. All right, these seem a little complicated, but they're really not. These acronyms represent the number and location of connections within a given switch. The first half, either SP or DP, stands for a single or dual pole. In single pole switches, there are two states, either connected or disconnected. In dual pole switches, the two states are similar, but in this case, the switch either connects to one terminal or to an opposite one. The advantage of dual pole switches is that you can change the direction of your output electrical current, like in this example where power is being directed to two LEDs. As for ST and DT, this simply refers to the number of channels or paths that are affected by manipulating the switch. ST stands for single throw and has one row of pins across which the switching occurs. DT, as you might guess, stands for dual throw and has two separate rows of pins both affected by the switch simultaneously. 